to go and take a look inside of Casino Lisboa. You gotta come to Macau. Hong Kong. We are on our way right now to take a ferry to go to Macau. They have lots of shows there, casinos. Uh, we may see a show, but probably not just because of time. Uh, we want to be back here this evening to hang out with fish again before we head out tomorrow. So we're just going to go check it out and come join us. ferry leaves from Hong Kong Island. So instead of take the ferry, I'm across. It's supposed to rain, possibly 40% chance of rain. We did not bring our rain jackets just because it also is super hot. Yeah, the rain has started. Super thankful that this walk is covered right now. They don't open until 8.30, so he woke up like super early. I feel like we're nothing now, but it's 8 o'clock, so we can get those tickets really soon here, which is great. I ended up buying the um, ferry tickets on the app. And it saved about um, $10 both ways. So it's like $87 for both of us round trip. So not bad. So Macau actually has like two islands. Um, and so the turbo jet takes you to the, the top one and it's 45 minute bus ride between the two islands. Oh, this is rather nice. All right, so we made it on the nine. I don't know if we're supposed to be here or not. Okay, it said 9.15. Hopefully some waved us on. Wait, waved us on. Hopefully some um, come try to take these two seats. We are booking it. It got us here in an hour. Woohoo! So smooth, too. What a nice ferry terminal. Pretty nice, right? Green Palace, look at that. Yeah. Right to the casino. Oh, is that and right? The wind is also in Las Vegas. Oh, really? Yeah. Just this past January, Macau has a new thing for smoking, and they'll send you a text to let you know. He got one. Welcome, Macau. Country number 55. 55. It might look like we're in ancient Rome, but no, we are in Macau. This is known as uh, the Las Vegas of the East. Lots of casinos, attractions, things like that. And it's only an hour boat ride from Hong Kong. So technically, this is a special administration region of China. And so some people do not consider it its own country, just like some people consider just the UK, UK, and not like Scotland, Wales, and England, all new countries. But according to the Peter, according to Peter's app that he's using to count the countries we've gone to, Macau is considered its own country. They have their own currency, we had to go through immigration, um, you have your passport control, all of that. So anyways, welcome to Macau. And Macau is quite a small country, um, 11 square miles, that's it, and on these two little islands. And it's mostly made up of casinos. So many different styles of buildings here. Oh my goodness, look at these ducks. <laughs> like styles of architecture here. It's actually supposed to be even more premier than Las Vegas. Oh really? Yeah, like it's supposed to, I think it's supposed to be the number one like gambling center of the world. Wow. I mean it is like a really wealthy country. So today is 30 degrees Celsius with 85% humidity. So it is rather humid. Very thankful for this covered walkway most of the time. That's pretty nice. I 
attraction is Macau Science Center. It's yes. iconic for Macau. And so you know what that means. If we're gonna see it, it has to be under construction. <laughs> no. We've had pretty good luck with stuff under construction. You usually can see part of it. Um, but no, that's completely covered. Many casinos everywhere, the President Casino. Wowzers! Cool. So up until 1999, um, Macau had been a Portuguese colony. And one thing that Fish, our friend from Hong Kong, told us that we need to try while we were here in Macau is um, Portuguese bun. Um, but then this is like such a huge casino and hotel and it's called hotel and it's called Lisboa, which makes me think of Lisbon uh, in Portugal. So we actually didn't make it to Portugal, so we definitely need to go back there, but it's kind of cool that we are in a former colony of Portugal anyway, so we get to try some Portugal food today. Peter, why are we walking up a hill? Go to a lighthouse. Oh man, that's a lighthouse. I don't need to walk any further. I'm really thankful actually it's cloudy today. Um, it provides a little extra relief from the sun. Peter just said we met our 10,000 steps already for the day um, and we have a lot more walking to do and I'm very thankful I can walk. So it was almost two weeks ago when I had my motorcycle accident. Me, it got pretty banged up, um, but it's now healed and I'm able to put full weight on it. Very, very thankful. There's still a knot in it um, where the bruise was. So I'm going to try a trick. It's fish just told me about. Fish told me that if you take a hard boiled egg, hot hard boiled egg, peel the, peel the shell off, and then put that hot hard boiled egg into a soft cloth, like a washcloth or like fabric like this, and then rub it around the bruise. You kind of work out the bruise. And I was like, hey, I am willing to try that. Lots of stairs to go down. Two new flavors of Coca-Cola to try. But I really was looking yesterday all over Hong Kong for a peach Coca-Cola, because it's also one with it. And we couldn't find it anywhere. And Fish said, well, I know I've seen it everywhere, but now they've just, <laughs> um, now they have just recently come out with a new one. But the new one is not here in Macau yet, but, and they still have the peach. I think we're gonna drink the lemon first, cause it's cold. I'm not really a huge fan of this lemon Coca-Cola. I feel like the lemon kind of just like cuts through the taste of the Coke. And so you don't really taste the Coca-Cola as strong. It's just all right. I, I just prefer prefer regular Coca-Cola better. There apparently was a party here. Look at all these stairs. Who knew Macau is so hilly? Yeah, it's like San Francisco. <laughs> One thing here, the drivers are so friendly. Like, we are standing on the sidewalk waiting for them to pass and they stop before the crosswalk and wave us on. Nothing like Hong Kong. If I look sweaty and gross, it's because I am sweaty and gross. We're gonna get to cooler weather soon. Cool fort. Monty Fort, built in the 1600s. Umbrella sounds like a great idea right now.
And this is the ruins of St. Paul, also built in the 1600s. Symbol Satan. Także był to kościół pod wezwaniem Najświętszej Marii Pan. Skąd więc wzięło się? Here's the back side of it. This kind of does look like the Spanish Steps, huh? <laughs> so this is kind of like the spot in Macau to come to. Uh, very touristy, so at least this is not under construction. Welcome to the hustle and bustle of Macau. Woo! Thank you. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, that's really good. Wow, this is craziness. Little, this is like you know, that European feel again, like the old town stuff. Yeah, if you want a European feel in Asia, Macau is the place to be. This this is really fun. You see a lot of different architectural styles from many different places in Europe. Sitting! Ah, uh, Peter's going to get an up close picture of the library, but I found myself a seat and I'm, st I'm staying put feeling a little bit sick. Peter, he is, he just getting over his cold. I'm dying here, man. <laughs> and I kind of feel like I'm picking up something. So I just feel really weak and I felt a little bit nauseous earlier. Um, so hopefully, hopefully start feeling better. Oh, that looks good. Eat one of these, maybe. Oh right, yeah, maybe one of those. Ah, perfect, stop at a bakery shop. I got three currencies to keep track of now. <laughs> All right, Peter has three currencies. We have Macau, we have Hong Kong, and we have Chinese. That's great, all in the same wallet. Well, for 30, we were able to get four different things from the bakery shop, including a pork bun. And near the um, really touristy area, um, it was 35 for one pork bun. So for 30, we got four different things. That's so exciting. Two meat things and then two sweet things. She was really patient too. Um, she didn't speak any English, but like we asked her how much. She pulled. She was really smart. Pulled out the calculator. Showed us. Wow, this was twelve, which is less than two dollars. That is great. Such a great bun. <laughs> and then this is delicious. It's like a meat thing with like a mayonnaise dressing. Peter found a real life Chinese donut. <laughs> Chinese it's donut. For real people. It, the same or similar to the Chinese donuts in similar. American buffets. It's pretty similar actually. All right, am I gonna get half? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. It's good, right? How do you like not react? Like, that's amazing. I was reacting. I was nodding my head. I was saying, mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, can we go get another? We don't need more than that. We're sick. I know. Guys, that's the best donut ever. You gotta come to Macau. Egg tart? So-so. I think you really like it. I just like my donut. donuts better. The crust part reminds me of a snowball cookie that you have for Christmas time. Yeah, it's, so good. it's really good. The Grand Lisboa. I think this is more shopping. And the other building was the casino and then the hotel. It's pretty grand. Whoa, is this like a fictional city? It's a tusk carving in the Great Wall. I see that it's the Great Wall. And all around. A mammoth tusk. A mammoth tusk? Whoa. Oh, there's a tusk right there. Yeah. That's crazy. Does anyone know 
why there's a blue cup in all of these. We don't know if it's like to keep it preserved or something religious. Automatic door. So fancy everywhere. Now we're gonna take the bus um, down to the South Island and the crazy thing is motioning to, for, so I could know what to say. What, 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 do your motion again for the flag, that was hilarious. Okay, I'm like, what do you show it? Like they have it, different kind of entertainment? Peter taking pictures as he crosses the street. No, Fly, get off. Get off, Fly. No, get off. The flies love my wound, too. <laughs> Your non-tan skin is looking really white. I know it's looking very white, it's looking very strange. Flies get, and then why, oh my goodness, I'm, I have to start walking. Mm -hmm. These flies are annoying me.